Hey there friends, welcome to another product unboxing and review. Today we're checking out the Lindo dual cam video doorbell. This room records in 2K, uh, features PIR and radar sensors, human detection, package detection, two-way talk, activity zones, infrared night vision, and IP67 waterproof, which means it's completely dustproof and also um it's survives being submerged under like two meters of water for like 15 minutes that's the ip67 so this thing outside is going to be golden unless your your house is underwater okay so this is currently on kickstarter guys and i'm going to link this in the description below i think it's running at a hundred bucks right now for a pretty uh pretty killer looking um doorbell cam here so this one's got two cameras because I guess if people are having a problem, you could locate um, stuff coming in, but stuff on your porch you couldn't really see. So this one has dual cameras. It's going to feature um, free video history or whatever for like three days on there. So a lot of the other doorbell places, they're charging you to look, even be able to see your video um, history at all. So this is kind of cool. It seems like a really uh, neat product. So let's let's get going here. Yeah. And right off the bat, we have the Smart Living Pleasure Box here. And we're gonna open this one up here. So nice packaging. This one has are labeled with step one. And this has a USB to USB-C cord, um, instructions, user manual, and a little security um, sticker there. So that's pretty neat. All right. Next we have number two. Put that up. Right, and that features this portion. So this is the doorbell mounting bracket and it comes with a nice little template for your screws and a flat, either a flat base or if you want, um, if you're not directly in front of your house, maybe off the side, this one comes with a slant so you can um, have your camera off at a little bit of an angle so it catches stuff there. So that's labeled in step two there. And step three, that's it for that box. But this comes with some uh, mounting hardware. Okay, so this is we have some uh, wires, so you can hook these up to your uh, existing uh, doorbell with these, um, just hardwire it, and this also comes with a battery too. So everything you need, the screws to mount it, and then the little um, wire connectors there too. All right, I'm gonna try to feed this back in there so I don't lose it for the install video. I'm gonna try to put all this together, uh, get this all going here for you guys and uh, get this all set up here. All right, that's it for that box. And now we have the actual doorbell itself. So here is, not sure what this is, settings. This is a doorbell uh, portion. Maybe it helps with uh, I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to check that out. But it does have a plug in here. And um, okay, that can lock into place or unlock it. Okay, it has that. Maybe the speaking portion. 
we will find out when we complete the install. All right, guys, now here is the actual camera. And it looks pretty nice. I think we're done for the box there, but that is it. So it looks pretty cool. It's kind of heavy duty. It's got some, um, I think we have a 5,000 mega amp hours battery in there, um, MHM. So that should be, should last a while. And then the hardware option, we have a power button here on the back and everything else. So that looks pretty sleek. Looks like a nice little camera. We got a camera facing down, camera facing forward, a doorbell button, all that. So it looks pretty sweet. All right, guys, so that's the unboxing portion. We're gonna set this thing up. Um, one thing we wanna do first is we wanna charge this up to full before we do anything else. So down here at the bottom, we have a USB-C um, cable. And we're gonna grab our cable that came with this. And we're gonna charge this up. So we're gonna be showing you how to hook it up with the app, how to get the app, all that good stuff. We're just gonna walk through everything and then we're gonna test it out and uh, should be a lot of fun. So. Um, stick around for that and I'm just going to plug this in here. It takes a few hours to charge it to full here. Plug it in right there and I'm just going to plug it in on my uh, keyboard here, keyboard pad. Okay and just wanted to show this if I can. A little light comes on when I plugged it in. So I'm not sure if there's an indicator when it says it's fully charged. It probably says that on the instructions. So, okay, we'll get that all charged up and we'll see you soon. All right, friends, so we're gonna set up the doorbell on the Lindo Life app. Um, you can scan the little code thing in the instructions or you can just download a Lindo Life app and look it up in there. Okay, so going to put in our uh, email and a password here. Need uppercase, lowercase, all that good stuff. Okay, put in the passwords, accept the stuff, sign up. I'll send you a verification link. Get that from your thing. All right, they'll send you a link. And click on Verity now. I think it's supposed to be say verify. Here we go. Link expired. Okay. All right. Well, I had to uninstall the app and reinstall it. And then I don't know what was going on with the, it was saying I wasn't able to log in. Now we're able to log in, going back to the app. And should be good, right? All right, we are golden. Add device, we're gonna just click on that and follow the instructions. Okay, install the power pin into the chime body as pictured. Plug it into a power socket when you want to chime to ring. Wait for LED to turn on. Okay, so we got the doorbell. Let's go ahead and plug that in. I'm going to plug it in. So install the power pin into the chime body as pictured. Plug in a power socket. Wait for okay. The LED is red. It's flashing red. Press setting button for until you hear DI LED is white. And okay, we're gonna hold down power on our uh, doorbell. Okay. Now the uh, light on it is flashing red and white. We're going to hit next. Okay. 
scanning for do Bluetooth devices nearby. That looks like it. Okay, connect the device. Waiting for the Wi-Fi. Okay, waiting for Wi-Fi. Select the WLAN password you want. Time to connect to my thing. One sec. Okay, I think I put in the right password for the... Uh, I might have the Wi-Fi to. connection is successful. Ah, yes. Awesome. Well, I'm pretty far away from it, too, and it's set up nicely. Okay, select your device name. Uh, doorbell. And confirm. There we go. All right. So the doorbell... Looks like it's, uh, I think we're all connected. It has a battery life there showing. And let's hit play, see what that happens. All right. So that's inside, and it's showing that. I just have it here in the room. I'm doing the setup here. What happens if we hit, push the doorbell button? Okay, so little chimes chime up. Mm. And I can talk to people too. Hello. 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 Let's see here. Please leave my house. <laughs> I don't hear it talking on this end. Um, but you could push in. Uh, sorry, we can't answer the door right now. Sorry, we can't answer the door right now. And then. All right, we can do that. What do I do? Uh, oh. I'm not sure what I did there. No, I'm just saying you're on the camera right now. Oh. And I'm making a video. Yep. Nope. All right, here we go. And we are good. Still working on this setup here. All right. Um, let's see if we can't talk on here. Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's talking now. So talking now. And I could just do a little thing here. <laughs> All right. What does this little thing do? Uh, doorbell has auto respond, battery settings, motion detection on here, human detection, detection sensitivity, medium, low, high, a bunch of dis different um, things in here. Set the timeout. Okay, activity zone. Set the zones on that also. I don't think I'm going to do a zone right now. Auto respond. Once I'm press the door below, play a voice. Please leave the package at the door. Okay, that's cool. We can set that up. Uh, video settings, night vision is on auto, share device, device info, feedback. And I 
think you can save stuff on there as well. I've seen how that's working. Okay, it's like recording. If I hit stop, I wonder what that does here. Save, it succeeded. Let's see where that saved that at. All right, that went right to my uh, folder too, so. And then, what does it have here? It looks like it has my home. Saved some. stuff in there so all right well that's pretty cool let's go get this thing set up i think i'm going to remove my ring doorbell and give this one a shot so let's go do that okay you'll notice that this doorbell has this little pin here in the top and that i'll show you what that does real quick once you put your uh, doorbell, once you get this, uh, this mounted, this bracket, so this will snap on there, and then if you want to remove your doorbell, it's going to push right up under there, which is going to push this little thing here, and that releases your doorbell. So pretty cool there. Thought I'd share that. All right, let's go install this bad boy. All right, here we go. I want this to kind of uh, tilt out that way because my house is that way. So we're gonna put this here. That means this is gonna go up like this. And then these screws go through here. And that's gonna go on the side right there. Okay, so, let's see if my first screw can just go right here. I already got a hole right there, so. Let's do that. The other hole is not lining up, but that's okay. Perhaps I should get the uh, this doorbell wire hooked up first. Pull that through, and pull the other one through here. And okay, I if I should just move this over a little bit, try to cover up that uh, hole there. Perhaps this will be all right. Screw that one in. hole right here. Let's see if we can get you guys a little bit better angle so I'm not blocking it. Looks pretty straight there. I guess I can get a level and level that off. Now our doorbell has a couple little screws here. Loosen those. Some pretty short little wires there. It came with some other things, so we're gonna use those. Okay, we have these extra little wires it came with. Let's go ahead and straighten this out a little bit. I 
attach our uh, cord here. Okay. And the other one will do the same here. Tuck those out of the way. All right. Don't want those touching if possible. All right. It does work though. Want to make sure, attach our leads on there. Okay, now we're just going to make sure that these are tucked in there, just like that. Now, doorbell. There's the doorbell. And we can test it now with our app here. Okay, friends, so here we go. We got the uh, dual cameras there, and we got a bunch of different uh, you do video settings, uh, HDR, night vision, auto, uh, audio settings. You can turn those up. Notifications. Um, if something happens, give you a notification, uh, share device, device info, feedback, all these different things. Motion detection, human detection, medium zone, activity zones. You can set these up. Auto respond. It'll, you can set it up when you want it to do something on there. Battery timing. It's plugged in. It's 100%. So going back to our camera. It's got... It's got the talking on there. You can kind of zoom in, look around a little bit on there. It's kind of cool. Um, there's the package cam. You can take a video. If you tap the video icon there, it'll start. It'll record a video, and you tap a picture, and it'll tap a picture. Um, you can talk or not talk. Here, hello. Talk on there. Turn off the sound. Turn it back on. All kinds of cool stuff, guys. And then you can also go to history of the thing here. Where is it? Uh, events. And it'll show you what was on there. And it gives you uh, a few things to look up there. Um, different uh, events that happened or whatever. So... No videos, doorbell, events. So it looks like it's set up only for possibly, no, there's motion and doorbell. Different things there. I wonder if we could set it up for different stuff. Uh, cancel, device, doorbell, events, human, package, and motion, and hit confirm. And that should add those things on there for us. So a bunch of different, uh, uh, lots of things you can do on this app. Pretty cool, guys. Um, um, so, uh, yeah, that's the whole install and review and everything. So it seems pretty nice. A uh, little bit of a purplish tinge on the camera there, but that's all right. Um, other than that, everything seems to work uh, pretty good, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time.